<laughs> what are you at the moment? Oh, hold on. Well, I found something. What? Underground. Underground. Huh? Oh, wow. Could this literally be an underground car facility? We're going underground, boys. Wow, it is an underground facility. We have been driving for, I don't even know, how long have we been driving for? Three, four, five hours? I don't even know anymore. Finally nearly arriving at the car graveyard. Uh, let's go and take a look at this. Right, let's go and see what we can find. I don't know even, know, I don't know what is here. What, 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 what do you think is going to be here, Flex? Trees. Trees. Dave? Yo? What do you think is going to be here? Loads of trees. Okay, what do you reckon? Our fifth and final brothel of the trip. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bucky, what well, do you think is going to be here? More trees than what them two think. <laughs> Double the amount of trees. Yeah. I think we're going to well, find some silver burk. Some gems, man, some gems. I think, I think we'll find some old things around. I feel more cold now, I've got my coat on. Right, let's go. I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> It's just a lot of abandoned wine bottles and stuff so far. A lot of wine. Definitely an alcoholic car, that. Uh, we've got to climb, boys. We've got to climb. Have we? Yeah. Up here. You right? I think so. No I'm, well, I'm, I was walking up there. Oh, you gonna go up there? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I can't see anything else. It's up there. Yeah. yeah. Can you see him on there? Nope. Oh. We're here at the moment. Bad leg, guys. Alright, let's go. Oh, flex. Come on, Flex. Go on. Huh? Oh! <laughs> He's not moving. We are getting up there. <laughs> uh, what about this way? I'd say we'll climb up here. And then walk up on the ledge. You ever play Skyrim and you're on your horse? You gotta find. You gotta go at an angle. Though. Yeah. You <laughs> gotta go at an angle. <laughs> Full of stones. Yeah. We don't even know where it is. But just hit you guessing. Nothing wants to climb. Keep your momentum, guys. <laughs> Let's go, boys. <laughs> Wrong side of the branch. I have no idea. Andrew, what are you doing that tree? Can you get through Yeah. I'm doing what I got to Andrew. That's how I feel. No. No? You probably get a flash. Is it clear that way? I'm up there. Not really. It's got to be an easier way. 
Aber... I'm <laughs> doing too bad for a dog man. Try walking down the head. Just sink into it. Right, let's go. Where? That way. Um. Yeah, it's up that way. Um. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the correct way. Sorry, guys. I real we now realise there's a track leading up to it. So uh, let's go. Oh, my knee! <laughs> um, I think you need to put it in lift. Perfect. That track was a bit gee, but weird. It was a little bit treacherous. Put it in off road for now. Is this um, one in it? Is it this one? Um, is that it? Um, I can't yeah, see shit. Put your indestructible light on. Car, it's not working. I'm taking a piss. Take it up as far as it goes. That's what you film for me. Literally, there's a quarry in it. Oh shit, something like drug is there. Oh, hold on. Hmm? We found something. What? Well, underground. Under underground. Huh? Oh, wow. Oh, the car's not in there. There's a car chassis yeah, oh. there. Maybe the cars are in there. Because that's a garage, isn't it? I don't know, let's go look. <laughs> okay, so this is a oh, unusual bad. development. Yeah. Right, there's a, a chassis there from something, so we're in the right place. Could this literally be? Oh, An underground car facility. We're going underground, boys. So to climb up the rubble. To get here. Just have a little look under. What can you see? Alright, let's pull this down. Let's, let's open it, bro. Hey. Hi. Let's open it. We'll open it. Looks like it opens that. Don't know yet. Wow, it is an underground facility. Yeah. Oh, it stinks in here. I know, I don't. Guys, I have no idea what we're going to find in here, so just keep your wits about you. Definitely an old quarry of some sort. I don't know because I've got this pinned as a, a car graveyard and I can't imagine it just being this. There's what? Andrew!
Get, here you got your camera underground series. Oh lord. Right. Somebody's been able to be like. Let's figure out what's going on here. Because this can't be it. Well, wow, it goes back quite far from what I can see so far. Well, bats, bats again. They always make me jump bats. Don't know what it is about them. Right, well, all these are just complete wrecks. Can't imagine. It can't be this. This is not what I've come for. It's got to be somewhere else. Although some of them are super old. Look at that thing there. There's got to be something else. Ah, bats are near enough hitting you. Yeah, it's nearly hit me. No. What's around there? It's just tires. If it, is it go on though? Yeah, Right, let's go and look because I don't think this is what we're here for. Yeah? Reminds me of the uh, reminds me of Fingy, um, the one in Wiltshire, Underground Area 51. Oh yeah, there was loads of them hanging. We had to walk past like really close to some of them. Oh yeah, you was you, you, you was with me when we met Paddy, the IRA guy, weren't you? Yeah, but I didn't get this close to him. And you're all in the attic. Watch out, that bat nearly smacked you and slapped me in the face for getting close. <laughs> All I know is I feel at home. <laughs> I actually feel at home being underground. Does it go back? It goes back a ways, but it appears to dead end and there's nothing in it. That's what I look. Off any direction for all we know. There's nothing that bit. What about over here? Oh, it definitely goes off. 
I don't know. Goes off. Does it go further? Yeah. We want to look. Oh wait, I can see one of the guy's torches then. This has all been backfilled. Yo! Oh, wow. Fuck it! Let's keep everyone together. Yeah. I don't want to split up. Weak. I tell you what. Yeah. Do you feel at home? What? Do you feel at home? No. Why? Uh, well, uh, Underground! Yeah, kinda, yeah. Um, but I'm still in France. <laughs> yeah, just pretend you're in the Lake District now, underground. Uh, Sam's around the corner waiting for us. Yeah. And we're gonna go and see him. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the Sainsbury's, that one that's and the get only... pizza. Oh, Penrith oh. Sainsbury's pizzas. On the way back, if I've got any money left, can we get a pizza? Yes. Funny oh. thing is, they may look different above ground, but underground, it all looks the same. Guys, we were just coming to check cars out. We found cars at all. What did you find? Uh, Never-ending tunnels. Andrew, Andrew told a porky, he was like, oh, it's a dead end, I checked it. I didn't see this going off. Oh, I keep getting water down here. I'll bring it up on it. I'm really happy on it. Right, I'm going to go on it. Again. Are you going to get 4G down here? Probably not. It's probably better than out there, yeah? No. Well, this is the first under, uh, underground I've ever. Oh, no, sorry, not the first underground in Paris. What am I hand about? We did the catacombs. Yeah, and the Maginot Line. First quarry, though. Yeah, first quarry. I wonder if there's more. I wonder if there's more cars on the outside if you turn left. Possibly, yeah. It looked like there was a shell. Someone's been. Animals been digging in here. Let's go down the rabbit hole. You first. Right. How the hell did they do that? Uh, with, with fire. fire yeah. That could be ancient. Well, it probably is ancient, to be honest. 1845. Yeah, there you go, 1845. They used to do that with the gas lanterns. Yeah, you can see the date there. 1844. Over there. I heard one in 1842. Wow. So they used to do this with the gas lanterns. This is how they did the graffiti back in the day. This is almost right. 200 years old. Yeah. It's 180 years old. Yeah, it's not bad. What's that? Uh, what, dry yeah, noodles? Uh, pieces. Look at this. This is all people's names. Alright, boys, let's. Um, Go and find some more cars. Alright, let's go see what else we can find outside. Yeah, I think that's where we were going to be carrying the pipes. Yeah. On top of there. Huh. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon I can get the car up there? <laughs> yeah? No, it'd be too tough, that. Oh. Okay, so we got another another car chassis. I don't know, I just feel like this is not it. Have you seen that? Look at the, what it held the body on with, wood. Sat on it? Yeah. God, this must have been old. Course built. Well that's not what I expected, but I'm glad we still stopped and saw it. Got a bit of underground in, there's some cars in there, or what's left of cars. But anyway, we're going to head back to the hotel, I think we're going to grab some of the tweets, so you already know the drill. I'll catch you then. Oh man, what a day. So we stopped by this place called Quick, never tried it before. Just some cheesy chips. I got two, two extra. I'm taking you know, fan of this place, so... Nearly two euro for that. Do you leave a bad review? What? Do you leave a bad review? Yeah.
boys, less than 24 hours we'll be back in the UK. Come on Andrew, finish your beer. Now, let's go. The strangest things about France is literally there's no one on the streets at night. Anything past 6, 7 o'clock, that's it. I mean that's the first, these are the first two cars we've seen in I don't know how long. Literally no one is about and everything just looks dark. Could like you also add that it's a Saturday night? Yeah, it's Saturday night. It's so strange. There's just no one about. And look, look at the time. It's only, uh, it's only half past nine at night. There's no pubs, no clubs, no it's bars, really weird. no hangouts, no nothing. No nothing. No nada. No nothing, no nada. Well, that's not a good sign. It's a full moon. Um, swatch, we're just switching drivers. I'm a, I'm a better at driving at night. Let's go. Oh. I even ask well, it's the end of the road trip. But it ain't over yet because we have been panicking for the past couple of days. What, what's the date today? The 9th? Nine. It's the 9th of February right now and we are in uh, mid France. We're heading north to Calais. Um, we're going to get the ferry across to Dover. Now, the 9th of February, when you're seeing this, it's probably going to be April, May, somewhere like April, yeah, something like that. Um, and there's a massive storm going on right now. You probably Storms. remembered it. Storm the Sierra. Storm Sierra, Sierra I think it is. The, the UK is flooded, but we've got a big problem. They're cancelling the ferries. We, you already know, we were doing the road trip until we ran out of money. We ran out of money. We, we booked, we, we, with the remainder of the money, we put the ferry. So we don't have any money left and they're cancelling the ferries. So we could be stranded in France for a couple more days. We don't know what's going to happen. We might have to look for work at it. I, I was thinking <laughs> we could go and work on the, um, in the alcohol factories, you know, the cheap alcohol <laughs> for a bit. Moving some around on pallets. But in all seriousness, yeah, we could be stranded here for a couple more days. So stay tuned. We're going we're to see how this day plans out. Um, I mean, worst case scenario is if it gets cancelled for six hours or something, we go and hit another spot. And then we, we you know, we got to go. Or we got to get the Euro tunnel. But that's 170 pound. We don't have 170 pound. Could we might have to live stream just to get ourselves home? And and actually, for for once in our lives, actually ask for donations because we don't have a way home. Yes, yeah, not what I planned. So yeah, let's uh, we're mounting up right now. We're gonna pack the car and start heading three hours north to Calais. All right, the boys are down there packing the car. It's already getting quite windy here and we're three hours from Calais, so I don't know how it's going to be when we get down there. Hey, what? Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Red Bulls and Atomels. Uh, really. oh, Alright, thank you. Oh, look at that Bucky getting my Atomel and Red Bull out for me. Thanks, Bucky. Can't be bothered unpacking cars. Right, right, okay, right, hold on everyone's, guys. Everyone's panicking right now. Uh, we've now been informed all ferries are cancelled. We have no money. We literally have the fuels in the tank. We use the last bit of money to buy the ferry. Now the ferries have been cancelled. We don't know what we're going to do yet. We're, we're about an hour outside Calais. We're heading towards Calais. We're going to get to Calais. We're going to get to the ferry port and we're just going to see what happens. You never know. They might let a couple of ferries out and then cancel them again. We don't know. But this is uh, it's a bit of a challenge to get home tonight. Challenge accepted. Good reactions. I can't act. Give me an annoyed, annoyed reaction. Flex, look more annoyed. Oh. There you go. Wait, wait a minute. I mean, we're, we're completely drying money. 
what we're meant to do, what, how we're meant to, we're meant to sleep in the car tonight. I ain't sleeping in the car. I'll we tell you, all right, I will buy a bicycle and put some float on it and I will swim over that channel. I am not staying in France for a second. Oh, oh, it's horrible. I say we just human traffic I'm flex. We just sell to across. sell flex to a slave trader. No. I can't yeah. grind in Florida. 19 kilometers next service station. We'll stop okay, by there and discuss what's going on. Yeah. We got to the services. Um, doesn't seem too bad here. It's a little bit windy now and again, but uh, we're just going to go and discuss what the hell we're going to do because we don't have a clue. Yeah, that's the problem. The thing is, it's the start of the storm. The storm actually starts tomorrow. Um, so we're heading into the storm, basically. And they've cancelled all the ferries. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we're going to have to last for another two days. If they cancel with tonight, no money. With no money. <laughs> no. Oh. So we've just been uh, sat down for a bit discussing what to do. In the meantime, it's been getting worse outside. As you can see, there's not many cars. And I'm surprised that lorry's on there. Most of the lorries are actually parking up because they're all blowing up. Look, you can see them all there. They're all parking up at the side of the roads because there's been reports of a few lorries being blown over. At the moment, at this present time, the ferries are still cancelled. So um, we really don't know, still don't know what we're going to do. Right, okay, and massive developments. So you probably are already aware of this. We did a live stream and we live streamed that we were stranded here in, the, in, in France. And you guys donated enough money for us to get the Eurostar train. So we are no longer stranded uh, in France. We're, we're currently at the Euro train, waiting to board the train. Uh, all the ferries are still cancelled right now. Uh, the, the storm is rolling in very, very strong here in France. But yeah, massive thank you to everyone who donated to help us get home today. Because um, if we hadn't have gone home, there would have been a lot of consequences. And especially flexing to get home for his little girl who isn't well at the moment so massive thank you to everyone this is definitely the first time we've ever gotten on um, the Eurostar train which goes right underneath which goes right underneath the sea uh, from France to the UK We're heading under the channel in those big box train containers seriously you're looking up accidents before we get on well, there was a person that once got hit by a Eurostar train and died. How? He just he was on the train line on the other side. <laughs> he got hit. So, but has there been a, what about accidents? He'd be that guy that I'd be scared stiff to go on a plane with. So, oh, this is a new plane. Let's Google this. How many accidents? This plane has had seven accidents since <laughs> it's been built. Oh, this actual plane's had a few near misses. <laughs> the actual pilot has been dismissed several times. <laughs> Anything, Andrew? I'm now looking up, has the Channel Train ever had an accident? It's the Eurostar. In 2008, the Channel Tunnel fire occurred. On 11th of September 2008 in the Channel Tunnel, the incident involved a France-bound Eurotunnel shuttle train carrying heavy goods vehicles and their drivers. Of the 32 people on board the train, 14 suffered minor injuries, including smoke inhalation, and were taken to hospital. So that's, that's the it? That's ever happened, apparently. Oh, okay. I was going to say it'd be like that film Sylvester Stallone, wouldn't it? You know the tunnel. I don't know what it's called. Daylight. Did anyone see that? No. Oh, okay. The tunnel, the tunnel <laughs> has been. It says here the tunnel has been in operation since 1994, and up until now there have only been ten incidents, seven fires, and three train failures, all without serious injuries. So oh, from that okay. side, it seems that it's safe to travel to France via the Eurotunnel. However. We have only scratched the surface. Oh, I don't, oh I don't like. I don't like it when they leave you with comments like that at the end. <laughs> right, we're inside. We're inside the train tunnel now. How's everyone feel? Yeah. I, I'm a little nervous by these. I don't know why. I feel a little Especially bit nervous. Especially the glass doors and now the shot is coming down. Yeah. Isn't it? It's quite scary. We're stuck in a box. And the back doors are shutting. That. Oh, that's it. We're stuck. We have set off. We are heading underground right now and we are heading back to the UK, boys. We did it. We did it. So at which point do we jump off the train and explore? We could shut the power off the train and then go and explore. Should we get about halfway <laughs> through before we do that? Well, did you know there is an abandoned Euro tunnel we could always go and check out? We've been in it, yeah. 
we are back in the UK. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to see the UK. And I'm so looking forward to getting this thing cleaned. Ah, bonjour, monsieur. Je m'appelle Dan. We're in England, bro. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Never seen Flex so happy. Oh, I'm so happy to it's be a... back in the UK. Yeah, loved it. English soil. It was the best, best part of the trip. English soil, it's just all English floods. <laughs> yeah. yeah, English water. English water. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh.